We have one of the world's best orchestras here in Pittsburgh, and we're fighting to keep it a great orchestra. The management has proposed their last best final offer was a 15% cut across the board for all musicians, a freezing and then a closing out of our pension, and a reduction in the number of players on stage. And they want to reduce the size of the orchestra. And I played in the orchestra for 44 years, and I was in the first strike that we had in 1975. Well, it saves management money, but it also reduces the size of the orchestra, and then they think they can replace orchestra members. They think that they can just spot, hire somebody off the street or out of the union book. You can't do that. That ruins the quality of the orchestra. Over the last 20 or so years, we've made a series of concessionary contract agreements, but they've all kept the orchestra going forward and they've maintained the quality. We have, however, moved closer and closer to the edge of not being one of the best orchestras in the world. And in that context, starting in February, they came to us with cuts that were so draconian and so damaging that it wouldn't be the Pittsburgh Symphony anymore. They want an orchestra, they just don't want the Pittsburgh Symphony the way it is. And we dispute the numbers, we also dispute the ability of Pittsburgh to support this great orchestra that's been supported for over a hundred years here. Our budget is 33 million a year, which is a lot of money, but Cleveland Orchestra's budget is 50 million a year, and Cincinnati Symphony is 47 million a year. And if Cleveland and Cincinnati could do it, why can't Pittsburgh.